Okay, so you get your clue book, get your clue book, okay? Unit four, citizenship, 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 okay? We are studying history, all right? Citizenship, cidadania, citizen, cidadão, okay? Right, direito, duty, dever, tem outras palavrinhas que eu apaguei aqui, ó. Pay taxes. Pay taxes. Pagar impostos. Ok. So, students, get your clear book. Open your clear book to page 25. Page 25, ok? Alright, so please go to exercise number 3. Alright. So, um, exercise number three, write R-I, R-I, if the sentences is related, if the sentences is related to write, and R-E, if it is related to responsibility. Então, vocês vão escrever R, I, if it's related, se está relacionado, related, relacionado to a right, a um direito, right. And R, E, R, E, if it is related to a responsibility, responsibility, ok? Se é uma responsabilidade. Ok? So, students, pay income and order taxes. Né? Pagar o salário e outras taxas. Is it a right or responsibility? Pagar salário, pagar taxas. Order taxes, outras taxas. Right or responsibility? Uh, it's a responsibility, okay? It's a responsibility, okay? Então, caso vocês tenham dúvida aí com a ideia, pagar taxa, pagar salário para alguém, pagar as nossas contas, é uma responsabilidade nossa, okay? Responsibility. Be protected, né? Ser protegido by the government, by the president, by the prime minister, né? Porque em alguns lugares tem prime minister. By the king, né? Pelo rei. So, be protected by the government. Is it responsibility or right? It's a right, é um direito que nós temos, ok? So, os governantes precisam proteger o citizen, precisam protect the citizen, o cidadão, ok? Essa é uma das funções do government, protect the citizen, proteger o cidadão, ok? So, um, vote in elections. Vote in elections. Is it a right or a responsibility? Right, direito, or responsibility? Em Brasil é um pouquinho complicado porque a gente tem um direito ao voto, porém a gente tem uma, um dever uh, de votar, senão a gente paga taxes, a gente paga algumas coisas. In the United States, United States, for example, you don't need to vote. You vote if you want to, né? Você vota se você quiser. In the United States, it's a little bit different. So, o conceito de vote in election is a right. É um direito, tá? O direito do voto como... Atividade 
é um direito, ok? So, it's a right. Oops. Vote in elections is a right, ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Respect and obey. Obey, gente, significa obedecer. Respect and obey the law. Law significa lei. Law in Portuguese is lei. Ok. So, respect and obey the law. Respeitar e obedecer a lei. Is it a right or a responsibility? Responsibility, ok? No, respeitar, obedecer, obey, come on. It's a responsibility. All right? Ok, what about number 5? Practice your religion. Practice your religion. Praticar a sua religião. If you have one, né? Se você tiver uma, you have the right to practice or you have the responsibility. You have the right. Você tem o direito a praticar ou não praticar your religion. It's up to you. Not to me. Ok. It's up to you. Alright? É você que decide praticar ou não. Então, é um direito seu. It's your right to practice religion. Ok? And express yourself. Express yourself. Expressar-se. Express yourself. Expressar-se. Is it responsibility or a right? Uh, it's easy, huh? This is easy, huh? It's a... Uh, oops. It's a right. Ok? Então, você se expressar é um direito que você tem. Alright? It's a right. Ok? Speak is a right. Ok? Alright, students. E, uh, R, E. Responsibility, R, I. Right. Direito. Responsibility. Ok? So, se você não fez, dá um pause aí. Ok? Pause the video. Alright? So, um, exercise 4. Listen and read. Listen and read. Ouça e leia. Ok? So, listen up. Pay attention. Citizenship in ancient societies. Né? Então, a cidadania nas sociedades antigas. Ancients. Antigas. Nesse caso, né? Ancients. Antigas. Ok? Ancient societies, all right? So, one second, please. Oops. Listen up. Unit 4, Activity 4, Track 10. Listen and read. Citizenship in Ancient Societies. Hammurabi was a king that ruled the Babylonian Empire from around 1792 BCE to 1750 BCE. He created laws for all the people he conquered, called the Code of Hammurabi. It treated slaves, commoners, and nobles differently. In the Roman Republic, People were treated according to how much money or property they owned. Women did not have the right to vote, and governors came from the rich aristocracy. Rome conquered many people and became an empire. 
After the conquests, many prisoners of war became slaves. In ancient Greece, Athens was the first city to develop democracy, which is a system in which people elect representatives. However, it was not open to everyone. Women, slaves, and foreigners were not allowed to vote or participate in government. Okay, students, so Hammurabi was a king. Então, ele era um king. Ok? Um rei. Rude. Rude. Ele governou the Babylonian Empire from around 1792 BCE. Ok? Uh, before Christ. Or there is another expression for BCE. Okay, which is uh, before Christ. E aí, para que ela se torne uma expressão um, politicamente mais correta, before common era. Então, antes da era atual, antes da nossa era, antes do ano zero. Okay, so BCE. All right, para ficar mais para todo mundo, digamos assim, não só relacionado a uma religião específica, before Christ. To 1750, before Common Era, ok? BCE. Lembrando que aqui é conta uh, backwards, ele conta ao contrário, ok? Do número maior até chegar no zero, que aí é a nossa era atual, digamos assim. He created the Hammurabi. He, Hammurabi, created laws, né? Ele criou leis for all the people he conquered. Para todos os povos que ele conquistou. Laws, leis. Ok? Mais uma vez, leis está lá em cima. Eu vou escrever aqui com minha letra maravilhosa. Assim. My beautiful handwriting. Ok? Então, created laws for all the people he conquered, called the Code of Hammurabi. E essas leis se chamavam Code of Hammurabi. It treated slaves, escravos, commoners, plebeus, and nobles, <coughs> nobles, differently. Oh, oh. Differently, not equal. They were not equals. They were different. Is no matter guys, né? Eles eram diferentes. Okay. In the Roman Republic, people were treated. I am in outro momento, né? People were treated according to how much money. Money, oops. Chico, chico. How much money and property? So, what is property, students? What is a property? Property is your house and your land. Okay, your house, your house and your land. Então, a, a property é a sua house e a sua terra. É o espaço ali que pertence a você. A sua property. É a sua propriedade. Ok? Property. They own. Que eles tinham. Women. Boy. Man. Girl. Woman. Man. Man. Woman, women. So, women did not have the right to vote. Oh, no. Did not have the right. The right to vote. Então, elas não tinham o right to vote. Okay? And governors came, vieram, vinham, from the rich aristocracy. Né? E os governadores, os governantes... 
venham de, da aristocracia rica. Rome conquered many people. Muitos povos, né? Conquistar. Conquered, conquistar. And became an empire. E se tornaram um império. The Roman Empire, né? O, o Império Romano. After the conquests, né? Depois das conquistas, many, many, many prisoners, many prisoners of war became slaves. É, muitos prisioneiros de guerra, war, se tornaram escravos. Em vários lugares isso é comum, era comum. In ancient Greece, né? Na Grécia antiga, ó, one, two, three. Ok? Hammurabi, Babylonian Empire, Roman Empire, in Athens, in ancient Greece. Athens was the first city to de develop democracy. Então, foi a primeira a desenvolver, ó, first. To develop democracy. Então, foi a primeira a desenvolver democracy. Okay, que é o que nós vivemos hoje, hein? democracy. Which is a system in which people elect representatives. Que nós elegemos, o sistema em que as pessoas elegem representantes. Mayor, governor, president, first, uh, prime minister. Então, num sistema em que a população elege Representatives, representantes, uh, nós chamamos isso de democracy, ok? However, no entanto, né? Mas, porém, contudo, todavia, however, it was not open to everyone. Not everyone, não aberto a todo mundo. Women, slaves, escravos, and foreigners, foreigners. One second, please. And foreigners were not allowed. Né? Eles não tinham a possibilidade. Eles não, não lhe era. Não lhe eram permitido. Não era permitido a eles to vote or participate in government. Então, ó, women, slave and fo slaves and foreigners didn't participate in government, didn't vote. Eles não votavam nem poderiam participar do governo. Ok? Alright? Tá com dúvida de vocabulário? Eu falei aí quase todas as palavras, então vocês podem voltar no vídeo e reassistir. Ok? So, students, uh, one, the code of Hammurabi, To uh, the Coliseum, some slaves fought as gladiators. Né? Então, os gladiadores muitas vezes eram slaves. Democracy was born in Athens. Então, ela nasceu em Athens, ok? E aí, de acordo com o texto, claro que vocês vão dar um pause quando eu perguntar, tá? So, the Code of Hammurabi treated people Equally, tratava as pessoas equally. Students, is it true or false? Equally, differently. Equally, differently. So, the Code of Hammurabi treated people differently, not equally, okay? Number two, the human republic, politicians were rich men, politician were rich men. Então, os governantes vinham de famílias aristocráticas, ricas famílias aristocráticas. Hmm. So, eles eram homens ricos. So, that is true. Okay, that is true. What about number three? 
Democracy was a system of, for all people in Athens. Para todas as pessoas. Man, not women. Not slaves. Not foreigners. Então, ela não era para todos. Ok? And that's a problem. Ok? So, that is false. The students, pay attention. One paragraph, two paragraphs, three paragraphs. Paragraph number one, Hammurabi. Paragraph number two, Coliseum, Roman Empire. Paragraph number three, Greece. Uma imagem, uma, um parágrafo, um lugar. Um parágrafo, uma imagem. And pay attention, one paragraph, one exercise. One paragraph, one exercise. Então, para cada parágrafo tem um exercício também. Ok? So, students, please go to page 26. Page 26. Ok. Um... Exercise 6. Listen and read. Listen and read. Modern citizenship. Então, nós falamos, ó, ancient, sociedades antigas, né, cidadania, nas sociedades antigas, and now, modern citizenship. Então, cidadania, é, ups, é, moderna, né? One second, please. I need audio in my telephone. Okay, so uh, this is about modern. The other one is ancient. Então, nós temos dois textos que falam sobre coisas aí opostas. Okay, so they are opposite. Ancient, modern. Okay, so pay attention. Unit 4. Activity 6, track 11. Listen and read. Modern citizenship. In the past, there was no concept of universal rights for citizens. The modern idea of citizenship was born in the French Revolution with the declaration of the rights of the man and of the citizen. This document stated that the rights of man are universal and all free individuals should be protected equally by the law. This document influenced the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Okay, so more than... The Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This declaration consists of 30 articles. Some of them are... Article 1. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Article 3. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. Article 13. 1. Everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. Article 23. 2. Everyone without any discrimination has the right to equal pay for equal work. Article 26. 1. Everyone has the right to education. Okay, so modern citizenship. In the past, there was no concept of universal rights. Então não tinha nenhum conceito de direitos universais. Universal rights for citizens para os cidadãos. Okay. The modern idea of citizenship was born in French Revolution. So, French Revolution, 
1789. Okay. 1789, the French Revolution. Okay. With the Declaration of the Rights of the Man and of the Citizen. Então, com a Declaração dos Direitos do Homem e do Cidadão. This document stated, stated tipo, afirmou, ok? Stated that the rights of man are universal and all three individuals should be protected equally by the law. Então, né? O... Afirmava que os direitos do homem são universal. And all three individuals, individuals, né? Todos os indivíduos livres deveriam be protected equally, equally by the law, pela lei, ok? Todos os indivíduos livres deveriam ser protegidos igualmente pela lei, equally by the law. This document influenced the Universal Declaration of Human, right, human Rights. So, U, D, H, R. Okay? U, D, H, R. All right? Yay. And so, pay attention, please. So, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Um, consists of 30 articles, né? 30 artigos. Some of them are. One, human beings, né? Todos os seres humanos are born free. Todos são livres. Então, no more slavery. No more slavery. No mais escravidão, ok? No more slavery. No mais escravidão. Right? And equal in dignity and rights. Iguais em dignidade e direitos. Everyone has the right to life. Todo mundo tem direito à vida. Liberty. Liberdade. And security of person. É a seguridade, né? A segurança da pessoa. Okay. Life, liberty and security. Okay. Uh, article 13.1 Everyone has the right to freedom of movement. Né? Todo mundo tem direito, right. Nossa, como aparece a palavra right aqui, hein? To freedom of, freedom, uh, liberdade, direito à liberdade de movimento. And residence, residência, casa, within the borders of each state. Dentro da, das fronteiras de cada estado, de cada país, de cada nação. Ok? Article 23. Two. Everyone, né? cada um, todo mundo, todo mundo, toda pessoa, without any, without, without is no. Without is no. Without any discrimination, sem oh, qualquer discriminação. Has the right to equal pay for equal work. Tem um direito de pagamento igual, equal pay for equal work. Pelo trabalho igual. Mesmo pagamento pelo trabalho feito por este ou por aquele ou por aquele outro. Ok? Article 26. One. Everyone has the right to education. Everyone. A boy, a girl... Rich, poor, everyone has the right to education. Todo mundo tem o direito à educação. Ok? Liberté, igualité, fraternité, né? Uh, liberdade, igualdade e fraternidade. In French, yeah? No, freedom, equality and fraternity. In English. Ok? So, students... Circle the expressions in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that are related, que são relacionadas a freedom, equality, freedom, 
equality, security, and education. Discuss these concepts with your classmates. Okay? So, students, pay attention. Agora vocês vão circle expressões relacionadas a freedom. Por exemplo, uh, all human beings are born free. Todo mundo nasce livre. Isso está relacionado a freedom. Ok? Então, o que, que vocês vão fazer agora? Vocês vão circle todas as expressões relacionadas a freedom, equality, security, education. Ok? Vocês vão deixar isso pronto para a próxima aula que nós tivermos com o Cleo. A gente corrigir. Page 26. Na próxima aula, que é a próxima semana, ok? A gente vai corrigir a 26. Ok? Eu fiz quase aí duas aulas e meia. Tá bom? E pensem no seguinte. Think. Think twice. Do you think uh, UDR, UDHR principles are put into practice? Os princípios da Declaração Universal são postos em prática? Why? Why not? Two, which of these principles is least observed in your country? Quais desses princípios são menos uh, observados in, in Brazil, for example? Okay, so do you exercise seven? Okay. E nós vamos corrigir na próxima aula. Be clear. All right? So, students, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. All right? Eu tô dando aula aqui. Eu tô só olhando essas girls. Raising their hands. Não paro de olhar. Como quem estivesse perguntando. Oh, teacher. Teacher, Marcio, I have a question. I have a question. Tô toda hora olhando para elas e fico pensando. Ué? What's your question, darling? What's your question? Okay. So, students, thank you so much. And bye-bye.